folks, in our previous video we talked about how rainfall is naturally acidic and now we're going to talk about the formation of acid rain. So in this case we are going to burn a match and that is going to generate sulfur dioxide instead of carbon dioxide. So we're still going to form an acid, but let's see what the difference is. Um, so this simulation is going to be run a little differently from our previous video. Um, I'm going to put in a couple drops of indicator into my test tube. And I'm just going to swirl it around to coat my test tube. Um, it will be a little harder to see the color. Hopefully you can see that the inside of the tube is green in color. Now I am going to very carefully light a match. Make sure my tube is ready to go. And take my match. You should see that smoke curling out. But now when I hold up my paper, oh, you can see that red spot right there, that we use that same indicator, but now it is red in color. So let's compare all three of our situations. We had our surface tap water, our naturally acidic rainwater, and now with our match, simulating our acid rain.